right guys, we're here in Little Rock, Arkansas, and we're at this museum for President Bill Clinton, or former president, and it's a very nice museum so far. There's an American flag and an Arkansas, or Arkansan flag, I suppose that's the proper way to say it. As you can see, they have like little globes and statues all over throughout the entrance. decent building so far. Look at that. A few more over here. There's actually um, quite a few throughout the building, throughout the area. As you can probably see it's a lot in that area. There. Individuals are recognized for the construction of this center as well as a park which I saw the two guys outside. I see a heroic story, a story of good, hardworking, imaginative people, an exuberant people who built our country with their optimism and their prayers. A story of immigrants who dared to dream of what their lives and their children's lives might someday become. A story of a land where even a boy from a small town in Arkansas could hope to one day, someday, help make those people's dreams come true. Right, we just came upstairs to go and look at the Oval Office. Not the real one, of course. Like, um, set up of the Oval Office and how it looks. Mm -hmm. So the setup right here is a sofa and wallpaper from the show Friends. It's not the exact one, it's a replica, but how cool is this? Hey you guys, now we're in the library section and this area has rows of books in here and downstairs as well, how cool is Over here on the side of the library, there are a bunch of presents that were gifted to um, President Clinton, and he just sort of displayed them in this area. So you can see them all throughout the library. So, um, while growing up, President Clinton really likes playing a saxophone, so we were just to him as well. There's a little sculpture of him playing the saxophone, and he really liked politics as well, but in the end he decided um, to choose politics, which is obvious because he is, or he was president at one time. And there are just pictures of him and their daughter. Okay. So you guys, 
guys see me here. More gifts. There's a tray, a painting. There's these really cool cups up. Wow. Bunch of little sculptures. Number 12. See the leopard thing? The, the earring thing on number 12. If you look at the key at the bottom, that's from Nirwaz Sharif, number 12. Zoom in on number 12. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, made by Nirwaz Sharif right there. It says Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. So those are the earrings right there at number 12. It's pretty cool. And then if you can see some of these swords, the swords are actually also gifts. So there's one from Indonesia, the tower castle right here that's from India. So a bunch of different things from different countries. I love these right here. So we actually can't go around to access that, but it's quite interesting because they have it blocked off, but then there's nothing sort of blocking it over there. So this is the entire library. There's actually more at the bottom that we're going to go to, but this is the top floor. Alright, so now we're headed downstairs to go look at the bottom level of the library. Or the first floor of the library, I should say. Right across, look at the view here. So right across from us, or across from us, there's a bridge that you can take to go to the other side of Little Rock. It's pretty cool. We are now downstairs. entire row leading all the way down that way are letters that were written to Bill Clinton from different people. Kind of neat that he actually kept them all as well. bunch of other um, bunch of other artifacts and different gifts that he kept from individuals throughout his um, presidency and then the dress that we actually the very first White House conference on child care with one of our foremost experts it is located in Arkansas is because he considers Arkansas his home and he actually grew up here. So he ended up coming here to help design the um, Oval Office as well. And he's done a guided tour 
for different individuals and to this day he still comes here just to visit um, and actually on the fourth floor of this building which no one is allowed to go to he whenever he comes he stays up there it's known as the presidential suite so him and security services um, stay up there to to sort of be in a private area and whenever he comes to this building he always stays um, on that floor which is the fourth floor and he enters from the back entrance so that nobody knows where he is or that he's here but he always loves to visit everybody so when there's so any like commoners if they're here so like us we're just taking a tour here so if you were here today we would just sort of be walking around and taking pictures with everyone and giving people tours so i think that's pretty neat so this in here guys is a meeting room um this is actually designed to replicate exact meeting room of the white house where all the presidents meet with their um board members or office members or what exactly that they're called so this is meant to look exactly like the actual one that's in the white house and across this so if you were to go out this way, you would um, it would lead you to the Oval Office, which obviously because this is the Presidential Museum, it doesn't have it like that. The Oval Office is upstairs in this building, but um, unfortunately I wasn't able to record in there. We weren't allowed to, but it's a pretty cool, pretty cool room in there. And just the rest of his stuff is over here. That's pretty much it. That's all we have. I think it's a really cool museum. If you're ever in Arkansas, it's definitely worth a visit. enjoyed it that was pretty neat i would say i would highly recommend if you're going to be in this area to come visit 